Jars. Hey guys, this is Jars, and today we are going to bake Jenna's birthday cake. Jenna asked me to make her a strawberry birthday cake, so I am going to make a strawberry birthday cake from scratch. The book that I got this recipe from that I altered to make it strawberry is this book here that my mother-in-law bought me when Jimmy and I first got our first apartment together like 22 years ago. So I've had it forever, but it's my go-to book. The things you're going to need to make a strawberry cake from scratch are your flour, your salt, your baking powder, some Crisco or a, uh, butter, two eggs, je strawberry jello, sugar, vanilla extract, and some oil. And then you you want to make sure that you sift your flour. That's very important for a cake. It helps the moisture. So I will throughout the video let you know how much of each thing to put in the video to put in the cake. But other than that, this is your basic ingredients. So let's get to baking. All right. So we are going to use two and a quarter cups of flour. And what I like to do is I like to sift my flour twice. to put one and a half teaspoons of baking soda in a flour mixture. Alright, so I put our baking powder in the flour mixture. We're going to put that aside. We need our salt to put in there and we are going to do A half of a teaspoon of salt. Put that in there. So now your powder mixture is all ready to mix. What we are going to do is we are going to take our eggs, our shortening, and our sugar, and our jello, and mix it in the big bowl. What I do is for the additive of the strawberry jello, the more jello you put in your mixture, the more strawberry-ish your cake is going to come out. So if you want a brighter red cake or more strawberry-ish flavor, you will add more strawberry jello. Basically, you're so you will use this cause for a third of the cup one cup and a third of sugar. So depending on how much jello you use, I normally use two packages of jello. That would you would put that in a measuring cup and then whatever is left over for the amount of sugar you need, you would add regular white granulated sugar. So we have three quarter cup of jello. So we will add a cup of sugar, here's our cup of sugar. We are going to use our shortening. They want to use two third cup of shortening. What I like to do for my baking, it makes it easier, is I like to use the Crisco bars. 
it's just like a stick of butter. It has your measurements right on the side. Makes it a lot easier for your measuring, for your baking. And then I just put whatever I have left over from my package in a Ziploc. I forgot the milk so you do use a half a cup of milk there's what your cake batter will look like so I'm going to put my cakes in the oven for 35 or 35 to 40 minutes until a toothpick or a fork comes out clean but you, you'll be able to tell by the way the top of the cake looks if it's done or not so yeah that is how you make a strawberry cake and I will show you guys the completed project once it's complete all right guys as you can see with my little visitor here the cakes are ready to go all right come on move Cake. We got this cake. Gotta put those right on the cooling rack. I'm gonna let them cool and then I will frost them.
we go. It's very, it's very moist, as you can see, falling apart. Mm. I am going to have the strawberry cake expert come over here. I probably could have let it sit a little bit longer in the freezer. That may be why it's falling apart. Yeah, but it's so fluffy. It's so fluffy, tender, and juicy. I don't know if you guys can see this, but ooh, ooh. yeah, buddy. <laughs> see ya. Happy birthday, Jenna. We love you. And like I said, if I figure out a way to ship a cake, I'm on it, girl. I will make you a cake. I'll make a chocolate cake with strawberry frosting or whatever the hell you want, girl. Love you. Happy birthday. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.